You're walking down the street and you see that jacked guy. He's wearing a large shirt, but he somehow makes it look very, very tight. You look at him and you think, damn, he's jacked. He is shredded. He He's quite attractive. And then you'll think, I wish I could look like that. Not really considering or thinking about how much effort or the grueling, tiresome hours that that guy has put behind the scenes to get to where he is now. You just wish you got to the end result, not really taking an appreciation for the time and effort that he's put in. Maybe not. Maybe that's not you. Maybe you think, oh wow, he must have put in a lot of time at the gym. But the majority of people do not think that. You see, the reason I say that the majority of people do this is because I used to do this all the time. With everything. All my friends got good grades and exams. I used to think, oh, I wish, I wish I could get good grades. I wish I could get A's, GCC 9s. I wish I could get perfect scores so my family would be happy. Even though that all my friends would have been revising three months prior to the exam and I would have done nothing. I, would have, I wouldn't have thought a single, single thought about the effort that they put in behind the work to get where they are. I just wanted to get to the result. I just wanted to, I just wanted the fast solution. I never ever really understood or appreciated the time that went behind things. And when I started actually doing things, I started to realize. So for example, when I first ever first went to the gym, and I started getting better, I started making more progress, I started to increase my strength, I started to see physical difference, I started to really understand and appreciate the time that other people put in. So when I then next walked down the street, I saw that super jack guy, I wouldn't think like, oh, I wish I could be like him, but I would never will be like that. I actually, the first thing that came to my mind would be, wow. He has put in a lot more time than I have, and he's been doing this a lot longer. But I'm going to catch up to him eventually, one day. And that difference in my thought process made me a lot happier. And you see, that is something that I really wanted to talk about in this video. This is going to be a short video, but it's because it's something that's really been on my mind recently. It is not complicated. Just start. Sometimes that's what we need. Sometimes we need somebody just to tell us this. Just to simply get the ball rolling. To be like, yep, okay, you're right, I've got to do this. So I'm going to tell you. But you know what you could also do? You could tell yourself. Sometimes you just need someone to tell you to do it. To simply start. But you can tell yourself this. And that's why I want to introduce you to something known as the 5 second rule. The 5 second rule is basically what I use to tell myself. Whenever I am unmotivated or there's something I want to start doing but I just can't build up the courage to do it, it's something that I do that kind of makes me start to get the ball rolling. And that is I count down from 5 to 0 and then I'll just do instantly what it is I want to do. So for example, say I've woken up at 8 but I've stayed in bed until 11pm, I've stayed in bed for too long, I'll then go, alright, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, get up and I'll force myself to get up. And this is actually how I started going to the gym. I had someone else tell me to go. I had a friend who's been going a lot longer than I have and he literally dragged me there. But it was only for the first day. Every single day afterwards for the next week, I would wake up in the morning and I'd have my breakfast, I'd have my coffee, and then I'd be like, all right, five, four, three, two, one, get your clothes on, get your fucking motorcycle gear and just go out to the gym now. And I did, and it really did help. You see, there's something that I really am appreciative of, and the reason I've been thinking about this is because I took a photo before I started, and I looked, my body, I wasn't proud of my body, I was really ashamed of how I looked. But after seeing the progress I've made, it made me really appreciative for simply just starting. And it's the same for you. In five years time, what will your future you say to you? Will he be appreciative? for you simply just starting. I am so glad you just started going to the gym. I am so glad that you started researching about business because you've got your own one now. I'm so glad you took pride in your mental health and actually aimed to improve it because you are the happiest you have ever been five years now. Or will future you look at you and be like, yep, 
we have been going to parties non-stop, drinking non-stop. We're broke. In a lot of debt. And we're fat. And I don't feel great. Simply just start. Trust me, future you will be happy. Will be proud. This was a bit of a shorter video, but it was something that's on my mind that I genuinely wanted to help you guys about. Hopefully, though, that this video has helped you out. And I'd be very appreciative if you clicked on the one that's going to be on the corner here because maybe this one can help you out too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent, then don't give up. Hey, <laughs> alright, something for you guys.